All right, so welcome everybody to day two of Night Hacking at JFocus. We're going to have another fun set of interviews. Interview, Baruch. Hi. And panels and um, more interviews and more interviews and, yeah. More no panels. No, no, only one panel. Only one panel, okay. And so, all right, let me introduce my, um, my guest here. So, Baruch Sadogursky is from JFrog. Yes, hi. And he's their evangelist and flies around the world talking about um, Artifactory and Bintray and... And the stuff around it. And the stuff around it. Yeah. Yeah, so what are you going to show us today? You, so, you promised something cool OSS announcement. Yeah, so... Are you going to, are you going to disappoint, man? Uh, no, I never disappoint. Uh, what, what I want to show you today is uh, um, a, a set of tools that uh, all of them are cloud-based and all of them are free. Uh, that allow you to push uh, software from uh, development from source code to a distribution platform. So we're going to take uh, some source code from one of the cloud-based uh, version controls. It could be GitHub, it could be um, um, any other one. The, we will use uh, GitHub in our example. Build it with a cloud uh, CI server. Again, there are a bunch of uh, Travis CI, Drone.io. We will use Codeship for this example. From that, we will use a free uh, artifactory instance for open source developers, OSS, JFrog.org, um, which hosts snapshots, and we will promote a snapshot to a, a new, relatively new uh, distribution platform, which is called Bintray. This is what you see on the screen now. Uh, from Bintray, um, you can use the release or even sync to Maven Central if you feel like doing something legacy. So all of this is open source, free for open source projects. They exactly. can do the entire workflow you're going to show. And in 10 minutes, you're going to do this whole thing, right? Uh, hopefully, it will take even less. What we are going to do now is releasing live a new version of Artifactory uh, client Java. This is a small library which provides a Java API on top of Artifactory. This is, I, I found it more fun than, than showing some hello world. Okay. This is actual product. And so we are this, going to do actual. Your, this is your product. Uh, this is one of our community being, effort. Being released. Yeah. You're going to push a new release of Artifactory. Yes, and uh, we're going to release a new version of uh, Artifactory client just now. Nice. So let's verify. Uh, you can check me that I'm not lying. This is Maven Central, and the latest version is 0.12. Um, here's my source code. I have a new commit that I uh, made uh, yesterday. I added this cool uh, button uh, to be able to download the latest version from Bintray, and this commit was built in Codeship. This is the build. It took two minutes. I won't show it live because yeah. it's precious two minutes, but I ran it about nine hours ago, 2 a.m. this morning, and uh, it was a success. Uh, let's just verify. This is the commit. It takes us to GitHub to the same library, actually to the same commit. As I mentioned, I updated the readme with the new Bintray button. Uh, the build was successful, and uh, the last thing it does, it deploys to Artifactory, OSS, JFrog.org. As I already mentioned, this is a free Artifactory instance for uh, an open source product. In order to get a login, to this, uh, to this instance, you need to create a package in Bintray. So get, give us some examples of some open source projects using Artifact. So here in uh, OSS JFrog.org, we have the Netflix OSS uh, packages. We have Redpack, which is an extraordinary uh, web framework from, uh, uh, from Groovy Guys. And there is a new tenant in OSS JFrog.org, which is called Groovy. Oh which is a groovy programming language that we now all um, love. I, I, think, I think some of us might have heard of groovy. Yeah? You heard yeah, of groovy? Yeah, I think so. It's a cool one. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, basically it's also in OSS JFrog.org. In order to get account here, all you need to do is register on Bintray, uh, create a new package, and inside the package, uh, issue a request. Um, well, the internet here is working. I, I think you're competing with the other thousand people who just came out of the session and are trying to check their Twitter. Yeah. 
That's sad because this is a cloud-based demo. <laughs> it should have the cloud available. So here is a button, stage snapshots on OSS Jevrogorg. Once you click this button, there is a request comes to, to us. We uh, take a look to verify that you are actually good uh, behaving open source project. And if that's the case, you will be able to build your stuff and deploy your snapshots to OSS Jfrog, uh, org, like I did with Artifactory Java client. So this build, the latest build, is the result of um, the last build I, you, you just saw on Codeship. So here you see, this is the link to Codeship. Let's verify that we are talking about the right build. Yeah, that's exactly what we saw earlier. So now, after we have snapshots in our artifactory and we can build as many as we like. Uh, once we are satisfied with the quality, and here the quality is superb, the new uh, Bintry button is just perfect. So I'm actually ready to release my build. It has three modules. Each and every one of them have a bunch of jars. Those jars currently are snapshot. We can see in Artifactory they are all in the snapshots repository. Here you go, OSS snapshot local. Now I'm going to run a promotion. It will take the snapshots from OSS JFrog.org, convert them to be a releases on the fly, change all the POM files or name all the JARS files, do all this kind of stuff, and push them to Bintray. Hopefully, we will have enough um, internet to do that. So where is my cheat sheet? Here we go. Uh, well, this is not what I want. I didn't enter the build name. Okay. So, um, OSS Jeffrogorg plugin build promote. I want to promote snapshot to Bintray, Artifactory, Java client. I need to specify the build number. This is the build number. I will add it to it, and we're good to go. Now I need... Super secret password time. Super secret password mode. Uh, just a second. Yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. Back to there. Yeah, so I enter my password, and now what's actually happening now, the jar files that are part of this build that we build in Codeship are getting converted from snapshot to release and uploaded to Bintray one by one. Again, we will see how the internet will uh, manage with that. I think we already can see the new files going in. Let's take a look. The new version should be created by now. Here you go. This is the new version. Cool. And now it should be populated with the files that are being uploaded. Let's see if we have some files. You see the files are starting to get in here. What we have? Build Artifactory Java Client has been successfully promoted, which is outstanding with uh, our uh, network connection. Nice. So now we have a full version on, uh, on Bintray. It's already fully usable. You can configure your Maven or Gradle to work with Bintray directly, and this is uh, highly recommended because you will get a much more artifact than, the, uh, than Maven Central. We are super sad of it. And we can tweet about the new uh, release. So I can say version has been released live on night <laughs> hacking stage. Grab it from Bintray and we're good. So now after we have this successful release, if we, we really want to uh, do something legacy style, then we can sync this release to a Maven Central. Yeah. For that, we have a couple of requirements. First of all, we need to sign all our JAR files. Okay. So we're going to, um, uh, the feature of signing is built in inside Bintray. So we'll actually issue another REST request, this time to Bintray, to sign our package. It's this one. And I think we're good. Super secret password again. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, Go. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. Think we're good. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're back. We're back. Perfect. Now let's see what happened. We have now, we should have new files inside. Yep, here are the files. Here are all the signature files automatically generated by uh, Bintray. Cool. So now we will publish those. And all we need to do now is go to Maven Central, provide a password again, this time for a Sonatype. Mm -hmm. Now we need... Again. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. I, um, I'm, I'm double-clicking when I should. There. Okay, good. And we're uh -huh. good to go. So I was waiting for your tweet to come through. You, you misspelled night hacking. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will tweet again. Anyway, we'll, we'll quote it and fix it yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, you can edit it. Can you put back the... <laughs> put back the what? The screen. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. There you go. Wait, it double-clicked again. Ah, oh, okay, you're back. Okay, I'm back. So we have everything ready. We can sync. Now it issues a, a REST call to a Maven Central, and it will be released once the Maven Central will reply that everything's good. Very good. Let's see. It's not surprising that the slowest part has something to do with those guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything else was wow. quite that, fast. That's, that's not in your control. What can you do? I can wait for it to over. Let's see if we have a new version here already. Not yet. Okay. Any news? Well. Anyhow, once the Maven sync, ho, oh, successfully seen. Nice. Now let's see. Now we should see a new version in Maven Central as well. Not yet. Now Yay. we have it. Congratulations. Okay. We have our, our first product release on the night hacking stream. Yeah. <laughs> this is real hacking. Thanks very much, Burak. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure, Stephen.